It's Canada Week! Oh. <laughs> no, get back over here. Rex, Rex, I will not tell you twice. I feel like I'm working with my children. Rex, I will not say it again. If I say it again, you lose all video game time for the weekend. Hold on. This is Monday? It's Monday. So, you know what? <laughs> you know what? What? You thought you were done with hair for hobbies. But Monday, oh, you weren't wearing hair for hobbits. Get all up in that. Oh. Really? Yeah. Now, 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 I forgot to bring the mooch necklace because I'm a mere novice. Don't have my A game. But I am present enough, aware enough, to remind you to put that hate crime on top of your dumb head. Yeah, at least you called it what it is. <laughs> yeah. It really is a hate crime. Uh, oh, man. Last day. This is the last day. Yeah. Just keep telling myself that. Yeah. Wait, I need some light for my project. Right there. There we go. Right there, just a little. Okay. Right there. Uh, so. Okay. <laughs> 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 oh. Wait, wait, just dip your head dip your head down so people can see the top. Right. Oh, it's just And there's a wax strip. It's just, just really off of Rex's thigh. I'm pretty sure. Wow. Okay, so. Teresa Smith. I would like to apologize to the good people of, 90. of Canada. Yeah, <laughs> sorry, 90. They don't care. Okay, so Teresa Smith went from relative obscurity. Yes. Uh, she is one of our whiskey sommeliers. Yes. And when she showed up at class in April, like six months ago, yes. she brought a bag mm. of a dozen uh, Canadian whiskeys. Okay. Okay. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And said, you guys have not been doing fair... To Can Canadian whiskey. I am willing to drink all your whiskey and be proven wrong. So this week we're going to do all the stuff she brought, even if we reviewed it before. Okay. Because it is Teresa Smith Canadian Whiskey Week. So, oh, fine. So, and she's definitely a patron saint now. How much Crown Royal is in this week? Uh, three. I was kidding when I walked off before. <laughs> the we'll neck, I we'll may, do it combined with other things. I mean, you're going to be fine. So, <laughs> Teresa Smith, patron saint of whiskey. Ding. Ding. This is 90. So here's the thing. Yeah. This is from Highwood. <laughs> I I knew I couldn't get through that without you giggling. Okay, this is from Highwood. Yeah. They were sourcing this. Mhm. Mm right? This is a 20 you're old. Wait, wait, wait. Well, wait You're not they, providing this moment. They, they sourced it. What was his name? This is. Who was the source of the? Twenty year old. Yeah. Hundred percent corn whiskey. Hundred percent corn whiskey. Yeah. Now I want you to notice something. Canadian. Oh no! Canadian. My pen fell off, Canadian. which means that hair is about to fall into my face. No, don't do it on purpose. <laughs> Damn it! Wait, Canadian corn? Do they? Gosh, this is such a dumb question. Don't even care. Do they grow a lot of corn in Canada? <laughs> I'm not even gonna answer that question. <laughs> no, no, are they importing the corn? The corn? No, here's the actual thing worth talking about. Oh, because wow. of the regulations of Canadian whiskey, this is 100% corn whiskey, but look what it says on the front. Ultra premium oak cask aged Canadian oh, rye whiskey. Because there's no rule for yeah. saying rye whiskey. Rye whiskey has become synonymous with Canadian whiskey. So this is actually as if a corn whiskey, 100% corn whiskey. As if whiskey terminology wasn't confusing enough already. Yeah. The Canadians have to go Super start, annoying. start calling stuff rye that doesn't, doesn't even have rye in it. So this was sourced elsewhere and then brought to Highwood for aging. So aged at Highwood. Yeah. Now at one point, Highwood uh, was experienced a flood that wiped out a bunch of the town and wiped out the distillery in the sense that all the bottles they had had to be thrown away because they uh, were, weren't sure whether they were contaminated. They're not contaminated. But because there were cinder block walls around the barrel aging warehouse, we need the, the barrels were left alone. The name and number of that dump. So the Canadian, it's, it, uh, every time I get into Canadian whiskey, it's like a, ver a velvety caramel. And this is 45%. Oh, okay. Higher than the normal Canadian 40. So if you're looking for a whiskey that isn't gonna fight you, it smells almost Irish. You're gonna, nah. 
It's not, not. It's not buttery. I'm getting. No, more. I am getting butter. You're getting butter. Oh, no. Dude, look at this I, paper. What you're wait, getting, wait, wait. What you're eating is butter. Wait, 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 wait. You keep saying words. What's all over this paper? You keep saying words. Your hair. What you're saying is buttery. <laughs> yeah. I'm saying is a velvety caramel. I think okay. the mouth feel and the, the direction of really rounded off flavors. And this is but one of the. But it's not that buttered shortbread cookie note. No, no, no. That, I agree with that. But this is one of the more rich, buttery uh, Canadian whiskeys I've ever smelled on the nose. Okay. So. Here's the thing with Canadian whiskey. I'm telling you. I got a little apple in there. Yeah. It's still no the maple candy cane. 45%. Like peppermint? Almost. The, the thing with Canadian whiskey. 45%. This tastes like it could be 35%. Yeah. It's so rounded and smooth. Yeah, and it's just my same problem with a lot of Canadian whiskey is dolphin it's smooth. so drinkable that you could just get trashed on it. Before you even realized you were drinking whiskey. It's like all of Canada is just Dolphin Smith. <laughs> the all, all of Canada. Without exception. Is, without any variances for like Vancouver versus Quebec. 100% across the board. <laughs> no stipulations. You, you want to you wanna know a little uh, confession? Is it a good one? Right now, one of my favorite shows... That has actually made me cry twice. Mm -hmm. I'm currently watching with the wife. Mm -hmm. Is the new remake of Anne of Green Gables. That's embarrassing for you. No. You know what I'm getting from no, this? No, 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 no. It's awesome. All right. I will throw you a bone. I have, I have saved it on my Netflix queue. <laughs> Brandy is going to love it. All right, I've saved it. Love it. I've saved and it. And you will not feel like it's a waste of time. Fine. The character development is brilliant. So, I so. loved the original Anna Green Gables, and I own all of the Ellen Montgomery books. My question. But this remake is a little darker. Question. Let me ask you this. I say this in the spirit of love and seriousness simultaneously. Is this such a touchy feely, rounded, easy going whiskey? That that sprung to mind Anne of Green freaking Gables. Yeah, really. Because you went from zero zero to Anne of Green Gables. I know. <laughs> but I'm like so fast. The only thing I can figure out what that, that justify that leap is this is such. It's I think so Anne, pretty. Anne of Green Gables could really love this whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> Although there's a quote in one of the episodes where she says she takes a sip of cordial and it has one of the favorite quotes I want to use in whiskey from now on. Mm -hmm. She takes a sip and she goes. Oh, I could develop a fondness for this. That's funny. <laughs> so, here, now the thing about this is it's so pretty. Yes, here, and it depends on what you're looking for in a whiskey. I think if you're looking for whiskeys that uh, are dolphin smooth, yeah, they go down easy, they don't fight you, there's some really nice, sweet, velvety flavors in there. You're gonna find a lot of Canadian whiskeys that you will adore. You could serve this to your guests, and they would universally walk away going, "That was great." Yes, for non for people that don't fancy themselves serious whiskey drinkers, they just want something really nice that uh, takes them on a nice little journey. It's not. There's a few different things going on. This isn't a one note thing, right? There's a few mm -hmm. different things going on in here, but it's at no point is it going to toss you around the room and give you a little bit of a spanking. I agree. This. Um, I got uh, a, a caramel apple, candied caramel apple. I agree. Yeah. yeah. Really smooth, buttery, caramel, candied apple. Yep. Question? That's basically it. Get some questions done, and we'll call it a day. You really want to take that off. No, I've got to go teach. Oh. It's actually, I'm running up against the clock. I oh. think they're down there waiting for me right now. Right now? Yeah. Should we, should we let you out? No, 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 no. I'll finish. Okay. We'll finish. Bobby Parnell. Wait. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, 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 dot. Some <laughs> people don't like Talisker. Come on, you're killing me. Who, I'm reading the comments. Are these, <laughs> who are these people? I either have to educate them or eradicate them or avoid them or just pour them some Balconis Baby Blue and then sit back and smugly enjoy my yeah. Talisker. What happens when you find somebody who doesn't appreciate your rich, complex whiskey? Do you say... You, you don't pour them any. <laughs> right. You say, good, more for me. Yeah, that's called a win. You pour them your budget sh and then you drink the rich stuff by yourself. Uh, we got Maxwell Super. <laughs> you both look like you moonlight as bouncers at Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> 
Because you were saying you were all ripped with your head in. Street tough. He's like, yeah, if you're a bouncer, you're a bouncer at Chuck E. Cheese. Street tough. <laughs> Just kick those 12 year olds out. Yeah. Uh, Adam Farnsworth, Daniel, I'm coming to Austin in September along with my wife, and we need to find some best answer chat. Yes, so this, is, a, so this jazz. is appropriate. Jazz recommendation. If you come to Austin, I'm going to give you two clubs. Go to the Elephant Room, one of the top 10 jazz clubs in the entire US. Every night of the week, amazing music. Oh. Or, oh, you made it. Or, if on specific nights that you're in town, the Ephraim Owens Quartet is playing, or the trio, then go to Continental Gallery and hear some of the best jazz you've ever heard in your life completely for free. Man, it's interesting that something so friendly can so obviously get shit faced like oh, that. Oh my god, yes. You can chug this and it's got, it's, it's, it's not watered down. No, it's not. It's, it's not some, watery. Yeah. It's just so friendly. It's got some richness to it, but yeah. If you're into that thing, you will absolutely love this whiskey. Here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight, may you fight for a friend. If you steal, may you steal a lover's heart. And if you drink, may, may you drink, drink with us. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us in the Whiskey Vault. Don't forget to throw on a like, hit that subscribe button on the bottom right, and drop a question or comment down below.